What's up guys and welcome back to Keep It Techie where we break down Linux and make it simple for everybody looking to get into tech. And today I want to talk about something that's been getting a lot of buzz in the Linux gaming world and that's Bazite. And I hope I'm saying it right, but if you're into gaming on Linux, whether it's on a desktop, a Steam Deck, or even a home theater PC, this might be the distro you've been waiting for. And in this video, I'm going to give you a full breakdown on what Bizite is, why it's becoming so popular, and of course, my thoughts on whether it lives up to the hype. So let's get into it. All right, so what is Bazite? Bazite is a Linux gaming distribution built on Fedora Atomic Desktop, designed specifically for gamers. It's optimized for Steam Decks, gaming PCs, and even home theater setups. So basically, if you're gaming on Linux, this distro was built with you in mind. And this is one of the reasons I love Linux so much and I like talking about it all the time is because of all the different options that you have out there, a lot of different people build their own distributions for particular purposes, and you're bound to find something you'll like. But first off, I'm at bazite.gg. So this is where you can get the ISO, but it also covers a lot of the information. There is the features you can check out, the community and docs, press release, news, and then the people that are developing it team. And so let's talk features real quick. So let's click down here and that way we can go through a little bit of it. Now, Bazite, it comes pre-installed with Steam. So you don't have to do any extra setup. You just log in and you can start gaming and then HDR and VRR support. So if you have a high end monitor or TV, this means smoother and better looking gameplay. And this is one cool thing about it. It also has automatic rollbacks. So if an update messes something up, you can revert back instantly. And so it's no more worrying about updates breaking your system. And that's something I had to deal with on Orch. It, it really doesn't happen to me that often, but sometimes it does. And I have to roll back a package, go search for that package and then roll it back to the previous version. This right here makes it super easy if you run into issues like that, which is one of the gripes that a lot of new Linux users complain about. But another thing about Bazite, it has other launchers supported. So you can install Lutris, Heroic Games Launcher, Bottles, and more. So you're not just limited to Steam. And another thing that's making it so popular is it's built for handhelds. So if you have a Steam Deck, or a Rogue Ally or a similar device, Bazite is optimized for that too. And then probably one of the biggest selling points of this distribution, it just works out of the box. So no more spending hours tweaking settings, installing drivers or messing with Proton. Hey y'all, Josh here from Keep It Techie. Real quick, let's talk about Rocky Linux. This distro is the real deal if you're looking for a solid, enterprise-ready Linux solution. It all started after Red Hat dropped CentOS and Gregory Kurtzer, the OG co-founder of CentOS, brought us Rocky Linux as a tribute to his late friend, Rocky McGough. This is community-driven, open-source software at its finest, and it's already making waves. Rocky Linux 8.10 is out now, giving you that enterprise-grade stability without all the Red Hat licensing headaches. So whether you're running a home lab or a full-on data center, Rocky's got your back. So if you want to keep it open source and keep your data secure, check out Rocky Linux. The link's down in the description of the video. It's built by the community, for the community, and it's here to stay. Stay techie, y'all. Before I get to the install, I want to show you guys how to get it right fast. So if you go over to download Bazite and click there, it'll take you to the download point on the page. Now, one thing about it, you can check out the current stable version. It gives you all the information on it. So it comes with 6.13.5 of the kernel, the firmware, the Mesa, the game scope. You can get whichever version of the desktop you want. So GNOME, KDE, and HHD, but it shows you the different versions of it. So you can check that out as well. And then you can check out all the other images. But if you go back up here to the top, this is where new users want to get your ISO. You want to click right here under hardware. So it's going to ask you what type of hardware are you using? So do you have a PC? Do you have a home theater PC, framework desktop? And they have different ISOs depending on what you're using. So PC ISOs, the handheld ISO. So if you got a Steam Deck and it breaks it all out for you. So the Novo Legion, the Azure Rogue Ally and the Ally X, the One X player. And then they have an ISO for other handheld devices. 
And then also they have laptop ISO. So Framework laptop, Microsoft Surface laptop, Asus laptop. And I hope this is recording this. Let me see. Is it recording? Ah, and you guys can't even see that, but it has a whole bunch of options under here based on whatever you installing the distribution on. So sorry that you guys can't see it, but I'm gonna click down here. There's one for virtual machines. And I'll walk through these steps right here so you can see, but you can select if you have a GPU that you can attach to this virtual machine, you can select whatever type of GPU you have. So AMD, Nvidia, Intel, and I'll just select the Nvidia one. And it even gives you the information when you select it, when you're steam gaming mode in a virtual machine, you must pass through a GPU. And that's exactly right. You have to pass your GPU to that actual virtual machine. But anyway, you could pick your desktop environment. So you could pick uh, KDE. So that's like Steam OS and then also GNOME. And then it looks like they're coming with Budgie. I know you guys can't see that, but they also have Budgie coming soon. So I'm gonna pick KDE, which is the default. And then also it's another question down here. Do you want Steam gaming modes? I'm gonna put no, because I'm installing this on a virtual machine. And I already have the ISO already downloaded. I'm just showing you guys how to go through the process to actually download it. And then you just click here and that'll download the ISO that you selected. And then also initial setup. So if you click there, that'll take you to the other page that goes through their documentation. You got a whole lot of information in here. That's one thing about this distro I like. It has a lot of documentation, which is needed, especially for these types of gaming systems that you're installing it on and all the different types of hardware. You wanna make sure you have good documentation, which they have. So that's kudos to them for that. And if we go back to the main page and hit download, that'll download the ISO and then you can go through the install from there. So let me switch over to my virtual machine so I can walk you guys through the install. All right, so I have my virtual machine booted up and it gives you a couple of options here. So you can go right into the install or you can test the media and install Bazite NVIDIA Open 41. And what I'm gonna do is just go straight to the install. I'm not gonna test it out because I already know it works. I went through an install a couple days ago, just playing around with it. And so I know it's gonna work. But anyway, I'll be back when it boots up all the way. All right, so this is the installer. And if you look at it, it looks very familiar, right? It's Fedora based. So it's gonna look just like either Red Hat or Fedora, any of those Red Hat based distros and so let's quickly run through it it's not going to take long to install actually it's going to take me a long time to install because of the software you guys won't see it you know what i'm saying but you have a couple let's go in here storage options so automatic custom there's this advanced custom blevit and i've never used that blevit gui i need to learn what that is i never used it before but you can free up space by removing and shrinking existing partitions if there are any on there so that's cool that option is there but you can encrypt your data as well so let's hit done we got a drive selected that's where we want to install bazite now go down and set you up a user account so i'm gonna just name it josh and then by default it'll put bazite in there it's just name it josh or whatever your account that you normally do just change that out type in a super strong password and then we can hit done there that'll create that account for you and that's pretty much it man it should recognize your network it should recognize your time and date location and your language as long as if you select whatever language here then you may have to go in here and change the language support if you're living in a different country but let's go down and hit begin install and i'll be back in about 30 minutes because the install does take a little time that's one thing about it like i said it's a lot of software that it has to install and also i didn't tell you guys the size of the iso that i downloaded which was a vm support was and i had to go pull it up right fast but let's see where is that thing at there we go so it is 8.32 gigabytes so it's a big iso you know what i'm saying you're probably not gonna be yeah you're definitely not gonna be writing it to a cd or dvd from what it looks like but anyway i'll be back when this finishes all right so the install is complete as you could probably see, it took about 20 minutes for me on my virtual machine. And plus I have a lot of things running on it. So my hypervisor is a little slow, but anyway, all you had to do is hit reboot. And then there is a setup once we get into the system. So I'll wait for it to come back up and I'll walk you guys through the setup. And I also fix the display settings. So it'll look a little better on the screen. All right, so the install is complete. Let's go down and log into it. Like I said, it's a little bit of a setup. 
because it, it wants to set up Steam, it wants to run updates. It also wanna see if you want to install any other launchers on the system, all that good stuff. And so boom, here is the welcome screen. And I don't wanna mess with the display right fast because it's gonna slow up the setup and everything. So let's just go through it right fast. So welcome to Bazaar. You can install other application. Let's run through it right fast so you guys can see. But you got Sunshine for a self-hosted game stream, host from Moonlight, Emu Deck, Resilio, sync and like you can select them and then hit install and it'll go through and then install it and i don't have to wait because i didn't select anything uh, that's one thing you might want to pay attention to if you don't select anything and you hit next it'll sit here like it's installing something but it's actually not installing anything it'll say installation complete if you unhide the console so you could just hit next there now right here it's going to ask you about the addition uh, super gfx and let me get that from behind because it's trying to get steam set up for us unpacking and all that good stuff let's hit install there and i don't think it's going to install anything here but let's type in our pseudo password right fast see what it says yeah installation complete so we good there that's for any of the additional nvidia drivers that you may need like i said this is a virtual machine i don't have anything on it but system configuration so i want to at least walk through this right fast you can have a visible password asterisk you can turn that on turn that off that's up to you it all depends right here we having a little issue right here i didn't run into an issue like this before where it popped up and had an issue but We'll go down and just hit OK. But you got Open Razor, Open RGB, Open Tablet Drivers, Cooler Control, Oversteer. So there's Steam popping up right there. Let me put it in the back. But Cooler Control, so you can control all your sensors, and that's for those keyboards. But I'm just hit install, and I think it may install like one or two packages. Let's go and look under the console. Yeah, there we go. So good to go. We didn't select anything else, so we're good to go. Please reboot to apply changes made by this setup utility so you can go through once you install everything just reboot the system and there are options down here so install more applications so that'll open up the installer that'll open up discover so you can go through and find any packages that you want also updates you can update your system on here in this application but i'm gonna go down and close it right fast you can also open up the documentation not gonna do that because it's gonna take a while to pull up the web browser since it's our first time on here but let's go through and set up our display settings so boom and there we go we got a full screen so you guys can see it a little bit better and we'll go down and close that but you also got your forum and the discord community if you want to or you can hit open and that'll reboot now right there so we're not going to do that yet. But as you can see, it pulls up Steam right away. And you can go down and sign in and start gaming right away. I recommend you reboot if you made any changes. Let's see if we got any updates. So this is going to check for updates. That's one of the first thing it does when you install. And as you can see, we got a few updates. That's not too bad. So free desktop platform and GNOME application platform. So you can update those. If you want to, Firefox, it'll get it to the latest version of Firefox that's available. Clap Grab, never use that. Akula. So, yeah, you can get all your updates right there. So, let's go ahead and close that. But as you can see, it's basically set up to be a gaming rig. Lutris is on here. Uh, you can go through, let's see what else. You can go through and go to games, and that'll give you everything that's on here by default. So, Proton, Up, QT, and then Wine, Z, GUI. So, you got that on there. And of course, Steam and Lutris, that's there. Let's see what other applications we got on here. So, it's not many outside of gaming. It's really no reason for all the extra stuff. Oh, that's cool. They got KDE Connect, which comes with all KDE systems, and then multimedia let's see office which you don't really need especially if you're setting it up for a gaming rig unless you're doing something else on here and then you can go through set up your system how you want it to look how you got your utilities in here so just get familiar with linux in order to understand how to use a lot of these tools that are in here wagedroid that's on here and that's pretty much it let's go to our terminal right fast and just make sure we have that kernel version so let's run uname dash a press enter and we can see yeah we got 6.13.5 like it said on the website so you got that latest version and it's super cool terminal the way they have it set up with all the links in here and all that good stuff so they basically update your bash rc for you that's dope and that's pretty much all i wanted to show you i can't actually game on here because like i said it's a virtual machine i don't have a video cord on here so it's no reason to do that but anyway this is super cool now before i shut it down let me give you my thoughts on bazite 
First off, I love the Fedora Atomic approach. This means updates are applied in a way that keeps your system safe. And you can roll back instantly if something goes wrong. And so that's a huge win in my book for Linux gaming. And second, the fact that everything is pre-configured means less setup and more gaming. And if you've ever installed vanilla Linux and had to configure Steam, Proton, as well as the GPU drivers, like trying to figure out which ones actually work, for the hardware that you have, as well as controller support and audio issues, then you probably know the struggle and cuts all that out and just lets you start playing your video games. Now, here's where I see some potential drawbacks. For one, it's Fedora-based, meaning RPM packages. If you're coming from Orch or let's say a Debian-based distro, you'll have to get used to Fedora's ecosystem. And then one other thing, it's not for hardcore Linux tinkers. If you love building your own custom setup, then Bazite might feel too pre-configured for you. And another thing about the distribution, it is still new. Since it's not as widely known as something like SteamOS, you might run into fewer guides or fewer fixes online. But honestly, if you just want a solid, no fuss Linux gaming experience, Bazite is one of the best choices right now. All right, y'all, that's Bazite, a distro that's making Linux gaming easier than ever. What do you guys think? Have you tried it out yet? Are you planning to? Let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe. I'm on the road to 100K. I'm like right there. But anyway, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And as always, keep it techy. Yo, what's up, y'all? Listen, if you've been sitting there thinking about making a move, let me tell you, tech is where it's at. I don't care where you're coming from, whether you've got a degree, a GED, or just pure hustle. There's room for you in this game. You see, tech is more than just keyboards and code. It's solving problems, creating opportunities, and building the future. You already have what it takes because tech doesn't care where you start. It cares where you're willing to go. You can teach yourself Linux, learn Python, break into cybersecurity, or even launch your own app. And the resources are out here for free. And yes, you heard me, free. Now, yeah, it's going to take effort. You'll have to grind. But think about this, the time is gonna pass anyway, so why not invest it in a skill that'll change your life? I mean, tech doesn't just pay the bills, it opens doors to freedom, stability, and generational wealth. So stop doubting yourself, store small, stay consistent, and keep building. Because this isn't just a career, it's a movement. And guess what? You belong here. So let's get it, because the future is yours to build. Keep it tech.